Arizona, but there's a Welcome to Arizona Grand Canyon State sign. Oh, I've got a pit, get in. Eh? I'm just having a moment. Oh my God, That's it's, like, <laughs> it's like looking at a 3D panoramic photo. Welcome back to the channel. Whirly and Nick, a couple from the UK. In 2017, due to a health scare, we gave up our 9 to 5 lives and bought a lodge on the east coast of England, where we started enjoying life and seeing more of the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us on our biggest adventure yet as we drive from LA to Orlando on our USA road trip. Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. <coughs> Bit croaky there. Um, we are just checking out of our hotel, the Quality Inn at Bryce Canyon. Um, I've just took two cases down to the car, hence why I'm a little bit out of breath. Lee's just packing the remaining bits up. Ready? And then we are heading down to the Antelope Canyons, which is near the Horseshoe Bend Page. There's a Walmart there. If we get there in time, we're gonna do some bits of essential shopping. We need some hand sanitizer from the car. We need some laundry wash. We need some bits and bats. So, um, let's go. Let's go. through a time zone back in time so we'll go back an hour and um, we are heading to the lower antelope canyons to do a tour which we got off viator.com um, so we're gonna have a look around the antelope tours it's very close to the Grand Canyon is that right about two hours about two hours so once we've done the tour we will head to our hotel at the Grand Canyon so not too much of a drive today for us but I'll get some editing done and at the moment it's, it's a bit cool, quite nice I think. What is it, 13, 14 degrees? It's 14 degrees, but it looks like it's going to slash it down. Yeah, it, I'll show you outside of the window. So we're still very close to Bryce Canyon at the moment. Um, I think we're going to pass Zion um, National Park as well, aren't we? Somewhere in that region, yeah. But you can tell they get a lot of rain around it because it's beautifully green. It's very Yosemite-like. Yeah. Well, so. it's got to change because the Antelope Canyons and the Grand Canyon are a desert again. Yeah. So all this is going to disappear. So I'm hoping when that happens, the weather changes as well. So we are very close to Zion National Park now. Look at that big K on the... On yeah, the, we're uh, in a town called Kanab. Kanab? Kanab, yeah. And all the signs on all the banks and the garages say Zion. Yeah. So presumably we're traveling through In a quarter the of a mile, park. turn left onto US 89 Southeast 300 that South. That theater, let's see what this is showing. Spider-Man. Not Maverick. No. It's very, um, the, the, the decor and the, the architecture's changing again. Yeah. It's going more away from Western and going more towards Take the next left onto US cabinet. 89 yeah. Southeast 300 South. There's a house that looks like a house in the UK. Yeah. Right, so we're five minutes away from entering Arizona. I'll try and get it on the um, sat nav this time on the camera where it welcomes you to the new state and also the um, time zone will change as well. There's actually a, a big sign at the side of the road that says Is welcome it? to Nevada and then on the other side it says yeah. welcome to Utah so we might actually just pull over for two minutes. I'm just going to show you these um, cliffs and rocks and canyons and stuff at the side of us. Not all the, all the greenery has gone and we're back into yeah. desert again. Yeah. The temperature's doubled as well. Look at these round here. Right, we're one minute away from the Welcome to Arizona sign. Okay, so it changes that clocks. one on just there. Yeah, it will be. Well, there's one on the other side for Utah, look. Oh, yeah. And there's a slowdown on traffic on the screen, so I presume there's a lot of people pulling over to take photos, which we will do. And then we'll have to change his clocks. Yeah. Now, it normally would do it automatic, but if you if you go into flight mode and then back in off again... In half a mile, your destination will be on the right. If you go into flight mode and then back in again, it changes it for you. Come on, Google. Yeah, because I can I bet see. we have to pass it before yeah, it shows on it, screen. Probably. But there are cars past it, look, so we will Yeah, pull that over. says welcome to Utah there. Welcome to Arizona. Oh, there we go. Welcome to Arizona. Welcome oh, to it. Arizona. Oh, there we go. There we go. You have arrived. 
There we go. Not sure how well you build seat for the sun, but there's a welcome to Arizona, Grand Canyon State sign. And then just over the other side there, just behind that uh, lorry, is the welcome to Utah. I've got into flight mode and back in and we're now at 1018, so we've just gone backwards an hour. Yeah. Right, we're just about to go over a bridge and it's Glen Canyon Dam and um, looks like a hydroelectric power station again. Yeah. It looks on the maps very similar to Hoover Dam. Yeah, so here's the bridge. Should we pull over so we can have a gander? Oh, there's a visitor center here. Yeah, but we haven't got time to stop there. No, just go over and I'll have a look as we're going over. I've got a we'll stop here. Just pull over here. So it's like a mini Hoover, Hoover Dam, although it's not very mini, it's massive. I know, it's huge. Oh. Just looks like Hoover Dam. I know, it's exactly the same, and that's Lake Powell behind it. Yeah. So this place has a visitor centre, the same as Hoover Dam. We haven't got time to stop. If I'd have known about it, we probably would have worked the timing, but um, but there we go, just a quick stop. So there we go, it's the Carl Hayden Visitor Centre at the Glen Canyon Dam. Right, so we're headed over the bridge and we are six minutes away from our next stop, which is... Walmart. Walmart, we're just stopping at Walmart, get a few supplies while we've got time before we go to the um, Antelope Tour. So it looks like Walmart is just randomly plonked here. According to the sat nav, yeah. I can In a quarter see of a mile at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Hall Road. Petrol's cheap. We've had nothing to eat today either. There's Not a McDonald's, a Walmart. Um, don't know what that is. Maybe I'll get a snack from Walmart. I think we should get some like mango spears again and put them in the freezer box. Oh, I'm thinking more like fried chicken. Ooh. Right, here we are, Walmart. What have we got on his list? Hand sanitizer, eye drops, mouthwash, snacks, super glue. Although we can take that off now because your glasses aren't repairable. Um, and that's it. Well, and I'm then gonna look at, else. I'm going to look at what uh, sunglasses in here too. I want some Cheetos. I just want some Cheetos. Oh no, because your, your fingers will be orange. I'll get the ones that are like flaming hot then. You can uh, purchase that online if you want for $299. Oh, look at all uh, Halloween snacks. Well, should we just get one of them and we can no. snack them? Oh, no, because it'll probably them. all, um, yeah, that looks nice. Didn't we get a bag of these once in Florida and we literally ate them? No, and you, probably. We got some sweets from somewhere and there were like loads in the bag and we kept stuffing them in. We were in Florida, I'm sure we were. Yeah, that one from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. No, no, we were a bag of like oh, taffies. Know. Whatever. I'm off to have a look around. I'm hungry. So it's a reverse store, this. So what are we coming for again? Uh, uh, right, let's go here for the hand wash. Oh, they've got all the Christmas stuff out. Oh, I like that, hot chocolate weather. It's them, our oh, home decoration, thought they were advent calendars. I can't believe it'll be Christmas soon. They've got all the trees out as well and the um, things up there, the blow up things. All the toys out for Crimbo. Right, I've got a few uh, snacks and hand wash and mouth wash. And um, we're going to have this for his lunch. Southwest uh, chicken sandwich. Right, here we are at the Lower Antelope Canyon. So, to see this you've got to book a tour. You can't just go and do it yourself. Um, so there is, I don't know what that is. We'll see when we get there. Looks like there's quite a lot of people there waiting to set off on a tour. We're entering a tribal park now. Right, so you still need face masks here. Luckily we've got some. Right, we've checked in, we're back in the car, they're very, very strict here. You've got to wear face masks throughout the whole tour, even though you're outside. You can't take any bags unless they're clear. Um, you can't take tripods or anything like that. So we're going to take the camera just on its own. You can take um, cell phones, you can take photos, videos, but nothing else, absolutely nothing else. You've got to wear a mask everywhere. Mm -hmm. And they actually cancelled our tour, never told us. <laughs> but uh, they cancelled it for later because they were saying they were um, they didn't clean the canyon out until later or something. I presume it was flooded. Yeah. So, so they put it to 4.15, so we just said, we'll just get a refund. But she said, no, oh, I can get you on the 12.45. We were originally on the 12.15, so yeah, we said, so yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. Just having a quick look around the um, 
Gift shop, what is that? Ooh, it weighs a ton, it's fry, fry bread. Never heard of it. But it literally weighs, weighs a ton. It's, this is the mix, I think. Never heard of fry bread. Me neither. Looks nice, looks like hot rinds. struggle with That's masks on. You feel like you can't breathe. $10 for a car to get in. No mention of annuals? No. Oof. 
Right, so we're at the Don't Take the Annual Pass for the National Parks. We had to pay, so that's what we're going to go and look at. Horseshoe Bend, be prepared. Remember, you're in a desert. Bring plenty of water, sunscreen, protective clothing, and wear good Your hiking, walking shoes. Your destination is on the left. Be mindful of weather, use good judgment. Temperature can reach over 100 degrees, degrees Fahrenheit. Well, it's 28C now, so. So this is a one and a half mile walk, stroke, hike. We paid for this, I know. <laughs> Check out that landscape. I was just saying to Lee, when you think about it and you see that kind of landscape in the distance and you think about where we're from and how big we are in comparison to what you're seeing, we're just ins insignificant blips. organic blips that are here for a limited time and when we're gone, all this will still be here. Thousands and thousands of years this will all still be here. Yeah, and we're just here for like a blink of an eye. The yes. only thing I'm left having to a moment. remember us by is our YouTube channel. Our vlogs. <laughs> I'm just having a moment. Oh my god, it's like, high. <laughs> it's like looking at a 3D panoramic photo. So that is Horseshoe Bend. So that is not distorted, that's actually how it looks. My god, there's somebody down there camping. Yeah. It's a bit like the Grand Canyon, how you, your mind can't process. The depth perception yeah. or the lack of. There's a boat coming up around there. There's, there's people, yeah, there's lots of boats down there. That is absolutely stunning. So this is the, um, the river that came off the dam that we saw earlier. Another boat there. I was gonna put my phone into panoramic, like widescreen mode, but I won't even need to now. That is stunning, and look how high we are. Didn't make you wobble on your feet. It did a little bit, yeah. <laughs> oh, we just wanna look down there. Ooh, Leo hate me holding the camera over here. Well, there we go. I don't wanna turn the camera off. <laughs> I just wanna keep filming it and looking at it. That is stunning, isn't it? Just getting some photos taken. And then uh, just staring at this, it's just amazing. This is what the Grand Canyon kind of looks like. When you look at the Grand Canyon, if you've never seen it before, you just can't process it in your mind because it's so huge. So you just gotta like stand and just stare and just try and take it in. was actually stunning. Absolutely stunning. I didn't even tell Lee about that. Well, no, it just I put it in as a pin because yeah. I knew we were near it, but I didn't actually explain it. I didn't. We didn't watch any videos on it or anything like that. I'd no. seen it on photos and, uh, and Simon, um, one of our friends has basically told me about it and he said, go there. So I just added it in. I thought if we've got time, we'll do it. And on the way back from the Antelope Canyons, it was only like five miles, five minutes, if that. So, so uh, back to the car now, and then we have a couple of hours or two and a half hours drive to the Grand Canyon Hotel. Might have some mangoes and a root beer while we're driving. Well, I think we should maybe stop off for, for some lunch. Stop, some, stop, some, stop, stop, off, off, stop off some lunch if we see anything on the way. Possibly. Back in the car, that's the second state trooper that's um, passed us in the last 10 minutes. So, uh, or, the first, or the same one twice? No, it was a different car last time, more like Robocop last time. So I don't know what's happening um, in the distance. Maybe we'll find out soon. Well, it's heading this direction, so we should do. Right, we are now two hours and eight minutes from our hotel in the Grand Canyon. Looking forward to getting there now, actually. Look at that! I don't know. Just the enormity it's of what's nothingness. in front of us is just immense. It's like the never-ending story, and we've just actually seen the rock creature from the never-ending story as well. Look at that, look at the mountain. It's all canyons as well, if you look down. It's just, it's just mind-blowing, the size. It brings that, that thought again of like, we're just insignificant, mm. do you know what I mean? In the well, scale of it all. I would like to find an insignificant coffee shop now. Do you want to, do you want to stop? I'll just keep going. Right, here we are at the um, um, pain booths for the Grand Canyon. So we're gonna use our America, the beautiful annual pass again. I'll show you the um, charges again, just in case you haven't seen them on previous vlogs. Private vehicle, one to seven days, $35. Motorcycle, $30. I'll zoom in a little bit and um, you can see them. There we go. And then um, 
the Grand Canyon Pass one year, $70, which is what we've got. No, no, we've got the America one, which includes the Grand Canyon Pass. Yeah, well, it must be that one because there is no no, no mm. other option on there. I hope they take it. Unless it's 70 plus tax. Mm, yeah, maybe, because I think we paid about $80. Because ours is the America is Beautiful, which yeah. covers all the national parks, and they only take credit card as well. Yeah. Right, we're in, and we weren't planning to do this because we want to get to the hotel, but she said there was a um, a viewing point just down the road, so we parked up and thought, bugger it, let's go and have a look at the Grand Canyon. So this is called Desert View, and that's the visitor centre, <laughs> a table. God, we're, we're staying over here. Yeah. But it's a village. And we're, we're there. Miles yeah, so we're here. there, and then we're going to go all the way up there to um, the hotel. Let's go and have a quick look at this. I think it's about another 30 mile for us. There we go. The Grand Canyon. Well, at got least more depth perception this time. Because yeah. Of, because of the shadows. Just wanted to get a quick glance at it, didn't we, until uh, tomorrow. Well, tomorrow is going to look completely different because yeah. we're 30 miles down yeah. the, the rim. At least a Yeah. Five miles down there. I saw a video this morning of somebody with a um, parachute on running. Oh yeah, jumping then, off it, then I saw it. <laughs> then putting the parachute on, it's like, are yeah. you mad? No, thank you. Right, we're up to the hotel. We're not going to go up that. The tower. So we're in the tower, but it doesn't look like you can actually go up it. Yeah, but I've seen people upstairs. I thought I'd seen some people upstairs, but uh, there doesn't seem to be anywhere. Much so stuff. it's just uh, like a merch shop. It's like the works. Yeah, it doesn't like the works. <laughs> Call your own basket. Not enough string there to do that, but I'll So this is all you can see at the moment in here. Well, when I say all you can see, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I mean, you can't go upstairs under the tower. It reminds me of the uh, viewing point at Lanzarote, yeah. looking a bit like Gracio, yeah. uh, Gracio, whatever it's called. Yeah. And I love the music they play. Yeah, they're playing like some like pan pipe kind of music. It's like Native like American flute, yeah. like we heard earlier. Right, let's get to the hotel, come on. Right, we're just walking back to the car. So this morning, when we went to the uh, Antelope Canyons, we met a couple. Um, they were actually from Florida, from Miami, and we were chatting to them for, for a while. And then we went to the Horseshoe Bend, and then they were there. We got We've just, again. we got chatting again, talking about Bowdoin. Oh, we were joking. We yeah. said, we might see you in Grand Canyon, because yeah. we knew they were coming to Grand Canyon. So we're just walking up, and they're just, they're just walking down. So we've seen them again. So we've just said, right, we're not going to say we're never going to see you again, but I see you tomorrow sometime at the Grand Canyon. I can't believe that. Like three, three hours driving, four, two hours, two and a half hours driving, and we've seen the same people in three the same times. places three times. It must be. Uh, it must be a fate or it must be omen or whatever. Drop us a comment below if you're watching, guys. Yeah. Just that we're going to check out. We forgot video. to get your names. We'll ask you next time we see you, actually. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Right, we are about to arrive at the Yavapai Lodge, which is where we are staying for the night, for the next two nights, actually. We're actually inside the National Park yeah, as well. Inside the National Park. Turn left towards Market Plaza Road, then turn no. left onto Market Plaza Road. So. I think we check in and then they tell us where our rooms are by the looks of it and they're all over the place. Um, and oh yeah, because that's not what Yeah, it? I wonder what this is. This is, is this the big supermarket? There's like a supermarket, a market plaza. Um, looks like there's either a restaurant or a cafe thing there. Seeing so lots of people eating there. So we're just gonna, um, oh, that's oh, a that's central store. store. So where do you check in? Oh, I bet it's up there. You have a there. lodge, yeah. Yeah. Is that petrol or charging? Uh, I don't know. Charging. You have a pile lodge, so let's go and have a look. Right, come on. Right, so this looks like where we'll be eating tonight. It's open until 10 pm. So, uh, there we go. Nick's just going to check in. And there's also a place there for coffee and ice cream where we might uh, take a look in the morning for breakfast. Right, we've just got to our room block. We're in the east block, 7373, a second floor, which we would do, since the fact that we've got bloody cases that wear a ton. I'm up the steps waiting for Lee to bring his. And it's somewhere down this corridor, so it's not like a motel, it's actually like a hotel in a different block. And um, I don't know whether we're facing the back or whether we're facing the front. We'll find out shortly. That heavy? Very heavy. Why don't you put things in the car that you're not using? <sighs> right, let's go. 
Right, I was going to show you around our room. Nick's just emptying a Keurig pod that's been left in there. Beautiful big bed. Beautiful. Beautiful. It was beautiful. It's just one bed, but it doesn't matter because it's massive. Um, what's in here? Got a little fridge. Oh, thank goodness! I put some water in there. Get that cooling. Um, TV. Please. Hand sanitizer. Have you left them? No. Mm. Um, little desk. Keurig machine with some coffees. A couple of little puffies. A what? Buffets, oh, yeah, to buffets, sit. whatever you want to call them. I haven't actually looked in the bathroom yet. Let's have a look. Is it this light? Nope. Where's the light? Oh, it's got a safe. There. Ooh, so you've got a little off. wash room. And then uh, your bathroom. But the best thing about this whole room is the view. We're on the back. So we're looking out onto the forest. And can we see the Grand Canyon? No. No. But Somewhere just back over there, isn't it? Yeah, I, I heard him saying that if you want to watch the, sun, the sunset, the best place to do it is just across from the um, reception and just up the path, which is effectively that way. And you can see the clouds actually being glowed by the yeah. sun from the front. Because the back of the trees, look, you're there, are, are lit up. So the sunset is going to... I know, the sunset's going to go down behind us. Whatever. Right, we're back to the main lobby building for food. I am so hungry. Bradley, I don't say, have we? Half a sandwich? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so this is not really a restaurant. It's more fast food. Um, the queue is literally out the door and the tavern next door, the pub, the queue's out the door for that. Lisa's it's in the car park. Luckily, I was able to order my beer here and I'm just waiting for the page of which Lee's got for my pizza, pineapple and pepperoni. And here Lee comes with the full, the full Monty um, buffet meal. Where he got two sides and a, and a protein and then a salad, I presume. Mm. You get a salad as well? Desserts, salads. Eh? You got dessert? Yep. Well, you'll have to share that with me then. I've yep. only got a pizza. No. Eh? You could have got this as well. Well, I didn't. We've moved tables, Lee didn't like the table. So it's got turkey, corn, um, fingerling potatoes, I presume that's some kind of red jelly. And that's either a mushroom or a bread cake. A slab of chocolate cake and a salad. And he's telling me that we need to eat healthy. And this is my healthy, nutritious meal. That's what I've had. Gannett there's had all of it. Makes a change for me to be in Gannett. It's because he's been, all he's, all he's said all day in the car is I'm hungry, I'm so hungry, I'm starving. And he's been eating some barbecue crisps. Is it bread? It's like a pretzel bread. Mm. All he's been saying in the car is I'm starving and we got a big bag of barbecue crisps from Walmart this morning and they're half gone already. Right, we finished as a meal, which was very nice actually. And we're just heading across the road to the general store. It's very cold, there's no clouds, and you can see all the stars. Freaking hell, it's like a Walmart. It's Holy absolutely crap, massive. massive. Clothes, all sorts of stuff, beverages, the deli down there, all sorts. Nick's off to look at some bedding apparently. Because <laughs> it is freezing it is outside. It's cold outside we're tonight. At, we're at high um, yeah. elevation, so it, it's going to be cold. I want some of this. I don't know why, but I want some pepperoni pizza flavored dip, like for nachos and things. Sports bar brand. Deep fried pickle dip. Ooh. Buffalo wing dip. French onion. What and look what I found. What is it? Travel oh. laundry wash. Yeah. And I've got as a yogurt for breakfast. I've got you blueberry. I'm having vanilla. Okay. I want to get some Blue Moon now to put in the fridge. Right, we're back in the room after a long, long day. So I'm gonna chill for a little bit and then probably do some editing and stuff like that. Um, we just bumped into a nice um, guy Welcome. from um, Australia, originally from England, and he watched our channel. I'm sorry we didn't get your name, we were busy chatting. So if you're watching, drop us a comment below and I hope you had a, a very nice time on the rest of your trip and they're out off to Florida. So, um, so are we? Yep. Tomorrow, or in the next vlog, tomorrow for us, the next vlog for you guys, we'll be exploring the Grand Canyon. We've got a full day here, we've got another night here tomorrow night. And um, there you go, that meal, what I just paid for, was $22 for all that. The turkey breast, potatoes, um, cranberry sauce. The whole bill was 41, including um, my pizza and a blue moon. I had a big, like, bread roll, and then I had a side salad, and I had um, a chocolate cake type thing and my um you know uh, you know today apart from that and a drink and, so and a half a bag of family-sized barbecue crisps and you've had other half 
So I haven't. I've just started eating mine now. Thanks no. for watching today, guys. Hit the like button. Can I just say though? Click the notification before you start. Drop us a comment below. Subscribe if you're new around here. We'll come to that in a minute. And Nick's got something to say. The restaurant was cheap, money-wise, but it wasn't a restaurant. It was fast food. It basically reminded me of Disney. It was like quick serve in All Star Sports, wasn't it? I wouldn't have got that amount of food for twenty-two dollars at Disney. Um, this is true. Mine was spot on. But it was like mass-produced food on paper plates. I'd go back there any day. I loved it. But we're not. Tomorrow night we're going to the Grand Hotel at the Grand Canyon where they have a cowboy and Native American act every night that follow each other and we can have steak and mash because we've been there years ago and yeah. we loved it, didn't we? Yeah. So, see you on the oh, next vlog. Oh, and this hotel doesn't have a pool. Oh, no. And the Wi-Fi is absolute garbage so I still can't we upload don't have vlogs. See you on the next vlog. Time to wash his pants.